Pipes, right? You gotta help me. This giant monster of a bounty hunter's chasing after me. All I did was turn his motorcycle into a giant fire-breathing ostrich. Now there's all this talk about devouring my... Please, you gotta help me out of this mess. are far better for the environment than motorcycles. I'll take your brick and get out of here. penguin bots artificial intelligence but the cheeky beggars got too big for their boots and went off to start villainous empires of their own if you can trick them defiant drones into coming back then i can screw drive that independence right back out of them <laughs> Hmm. 
Make sure they get here in one piece. They've got a habit of getting themselves blown up. get won't help you swamp thing I'm as tenacious as a weed here's a little something I heard through the grapevine that swamp thing fellas a real stick in the mud when it comes to the ladies but I've always liked a challenge darling just get me close enough and there's no way he'll be able to resist my allure Barking up the wrong tree, Ivy. Don't be like that. You know I'm no garden variety girl. What do you take me for, a sap? You'll just lead me down the garden path. Hmm. This could take a while. I'll take it from here, Petal. Thanks for the help. <laughs> I want to lay roots with you. Sorry, Swampy, but I'm just not ready to be planted. Oh, please, my little buttercup. Can't we just... Enough! All this sappy little flower talk. What happened to the swamp thing that used to challenge me? I finally stopped to smell the roses, my sweet, and... Wait, that's it. It would seem I've overdone it on the pheromones. If I had something pungent enough, maybe I could... You, since you've been eavesdropping this whole time, perhaps you could find something? Whatever you find, it needs to be strong enough to knock his bark off. Maybe you could cook something sufficiently stinky up in the lab? Roses are red, violets are blue. And this rose is about to set its thorns on you. I kinda hoped it wouldn't come to this, Ivy, but... I've written you a song. Here goes. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> you... Oh, 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 great garden gnomes! What is that smell? Uh, oh, you're right. That's simply vile. Now, how did you say that song went? What? Oh, leave me be, will you? Oh, it's making my bark crawl! Oh, Swampy, you're back. 
Thanks for the help, sweetie. Though next time, <laughs> maybe bring a peg as well. Looks like the place. So where are they? So this is the Hall of Doom, huh? If I can just destroy those super evil blueprints, that ought to show Dad I've got what it takes to... Hey! How long have you been standing there? You're gonna give me away. Well, since you're already here, maybe you can help me search this place for those blueprints. Let's go. I'll check over here. They should be in a drawer, or safe, or something. S search everywhere! Rats! They must have split the plans up and hidden the other pieces somewhere else. They can't be far. Keep looking. Quickly, take them out! Okay, that should be the last of them. You've done this whole trashing furniture thing before, haven't you? I found this while I was searching. I heard you've been looking for them. Hey, 
Got a minute to help me out? <laughs> Need to get over this. Yeah, that's the sort of tragic I'm looking for. Keep them coming. Jeez, nobody takes me seriously. I wish there was someone I could talk to. I just feel like no one appreciates all the heroic stuff I do, you know? With all due respect, sir, we've partaken in little to no heroism since we've been here. That's all well and good, Skeets. But I think. I need to talk to a professional. Nice work! These are some real grade-A losers! I mean, wow! Oh, uh, no offense, fellas. All right, let the healing begin. The doctor is in! Say! to join me for my first nature documentary. <clears throat> Here we see the checkered trousered trickster laying traps for his prey, unsuspecting tourists, eyeballing cheap souvenirs. While the trickster is unlikely to eat his victims, he will readily watch them cry if someone doesn't help them avoid his traps. Hey, got a minute to help me out? What, what's this? One of the prey have escaped the trickster's trap. Oh, he's not going to like this one bit. Another civilian narrowly dodges humiliation at the hands of the trickster. This is exciting stuff. Do you think? Please say yes.
At least to me. <laughs> hey, got a minute to help me out? The yellow-haired trickster retires, dejected to its lair. The little trickster cubs will likely go unamused tonight. But that's okay, because they probably haven't done their homework yet anyway. The wandering superhero, on the other hand, gets to claim a tremendous bounty. Got a minute to help me out? A tour group has been reported missing since yesterday, and my gut's telling me it's something to do with those overly satisfied customers hanging around the Mad Hatter's new hat shop. I mean, have you ever seen anyone that excited about a hat who wasn't being mind controlled? Knocking their hats off ought to be enough to snap them out of their trance. I think that's everybody. Nicely done. I'll make sure they get home safely, avoiding any catastrophes along the way. <laughs> Sorry. Here, I've got something for you. Don't worry, it's not a hat. Though, if you want to put it on your head, then hey, who am I to judge? Club Superboy? I really don't, Supergirl. What? Nothing. Oh, Kryptonite. I knew that one. Halt. You want to come in the Super Clubhouse? Then you gotta bring Soup. That's not the rule, stupid. Who are you calling stupid? Uh, stupid? The rule is only super people can enter the super clubhouse. Except for Superman. Yeah, he's not allowed. Not after last time. So, come back when you've got a super costume. Remember, if you want to join the super club, you need to have an S on your costume. Doesn't that mean anyone could join if they had a costume? Not just, like, super people? I think non-super people would melt if they wore super clothes. Oh!
think you're a superhero, do ya? Why, I've seen squirrels more heroic than you! Hey, is that a super costume? Looks like it to me. Guess you've met the criteria for Super Club. Welcome aboard, Super Newbie. Here's your induction pack, complete with membership brick. Word of advice, don't try to eat that. Ugh. You're a superhero, do ya? Why, I've seen squirrels more heroic than you! I've been watching you, Costumed Crusader, and I have to say, I don't think you've been tapping into your full potential. No, no, not at all. We need to up the ante, raise the stakes, sweeten the pot! Prove to me that you're worthy of the title Superhero! What a thrilling display! The delectable drama, the whimsical gadgets, the dubious but comfortingly familiar sound effects! And you've been declared an all-singing, all-dancing superhero! I never doubted you, even for a moment. Seize this prize, as you have seized the very day, hero! This is it. Walking the tightrope of life. Jumping through the ring of fire of life. I paid a visit to this really nice shrink over at the Hall of Doom, and she told me that if I'm ever gonna put my tragic past behind me, I need to face it head on by hosting an epic circus performance in the style of the one where I lost my entire family. Morbid, maudlin, magnificent. So step right up. It's time to trapeze the pain away! Please remain calm. We will find your friends soon. Strong feelings right now. That's good, Bird Brain. This is the first step to recovery. Now you just need to put this show on every night for a uh, what in our 50 years or so? Then you'll be certifiably sane! 50 years? Wait a sec. Was all this just to give you a free trip to the circus? Oh, busted! <laughs> I just remembered. I've got clients waiting. See you around, Wing Nut! You! Man, this feels like a serious violation. I think I'm gonna need more therapy. Hey, 
tiddle tiddle. And please remain calm. We will find your friends soon. <laughs> Looks like the visitor center has been hit by another crime spree, with even more innocent tourists being caught in the crossfire. I've brought who I can to safety, but there are still people in trouble. Ooh, sounds like a job for super noob to me. See if you can find the others, okay? People! All they ever wanted was to revel in the glory of our super deeds? Is that so wrong? I sent Superboy out to find more people in distress, but he's been gone a while. Hmm, probably goofing off in the gift shop again. <laughs> all over the bat cave floor. <laughs> oh, I should have been a poet. Help! Hey! Boy, am I glad to see you. I was helping someone out and those villain jerks got the jump on me. Help me out, would you? Help! Hey, don't tell Supergirl about this, okay? She'll take away my awareness club badge! Another job well done, Super Noob! Ooh, and to put a positive slant on things, there is nothing quite like being rescued by a genuine superhero to bring some authenticity to a guided tour about superheroes. Am I right, everyone? Okay, they're clearly still in shock. Thanks again! Bye! <laughs> hey, tiddle tiddle, and tiddle riddle all over the bat cave floor. <laughs> oh, I should have been a poet. Riddle me this, riddle me that. A cunning conundrum I've pulled from my head. Think you can solve this riddle? Ah, go on. It's not like you have anything better to be doing. There might be a shiny prize in it for you. <laughs> what? You think you're getting the prize for solving that? That was just a warm-up. Try this one on for size. Very nice, but you're gonna have to give me one more if you want the goods. <laughs> Given your old gray matter quite the workout there. Or maybe I just made things a little too easy for you. I must be going soft in my old age. Since I'm in such a giving mood, here's a bonus riddle for you. How many gold bricks does it take to complete a building made entirely of gold bricks? Huh? Just the last one. Meow! 